Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we do a little holiday shopping at the Village of Rochester Hills, experience Christmas at the Fox, and then we explore the John K. King used bookstore, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. Looking for a different experience and a one-of-a-kind place to do your holiday shopping? How about the Village of Rochester Hills? So one of the really neat things about this mall is the fact that it's an open-air mall and when they have the holiday lights up you feel like you're totally immersed in the festivity of the season. Well, Shalene, I'm so excited to be at the Village of Rochester Hills. It's like so inviting to shop to. And what, what do you think makes it such a great holiday shopping destination? Uh, I think the biggest thing for us, especially this year, is the fact that we have 850,000 lights up this year. Um, so it's been a huge attraction. People just really come out here just to see the lights a lot of the time. So what do you think are some of your hot draws this season too, as far as stores? Um, I think for us, we have two new stores that just came this year, uh, Apricot Lane and Hot Mama. Apricot Lane is the only one in Michigan. Um, and Hot Mama is one of two right now, and I think they have their third one coming. We have a couple new, we have Douglas J Salon, as well as Massage Envy. We're really trying to cater to busy moms. And not to mention, you, the caliber of stores here is a great selection. We it have is. a huge selection of stores, yes we do. Well, can we check out these new stores? Yeah, let's about? go take a walk. Okay. <laughs> Apricot Lane. Sit. Come on. Right. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Well, so I love it in here. Apricot Lane. Tell me what kind of stuff can we find in here? I feel like the store is very eclectic. Mm -hmm. It's um, you're going to be able to find a really simple dress or just a simple vest to add to your wardrobe. But I think you're going to find some really interesting one-of-a-kind pieces in here also. Um, if you look around the store a little bit more, you're going to find that you only see like five to six of the pieces that are in here. Okay. And so any of these that you look at, you're going to notice that that's all they get. For everything. For everything. And it's women's clothing, so women's clothing and accessories, yes. right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you can come in here with I mean, my 13 years year old's been in here with me, yeah. and she's found things in here. Mm -hmm. And then I've been in here before, and I've seen women in here that are in their 60s, and they're just they're as happy fun. shopping in here as well. Mm -hmm. So I see they have a lot of accessories. They do, they do. Um, they even carry some jewelry that are um, to give back. I know some of the pieces that they carry um, are to help support trafficking as mm -hmm. well as to help support homeless. So this is what you're talking about. This is part of the uh, give back? Yes, this is. This is one of the pieces that they have. Um, and part of the proceeds of this goes to give back for um, stopping trafficking with children. These pieces here are the ones that 25% um, of the proceeds go to help the homeless. Oh my goodness, and, that is uh, just so, that is so me. I yeah. love it. I like this. It's got the fender pick on this. Yes. So I have a girlfriend cute. who um, is a musician mm -hmm. and she came in here and obviously fell in love with these, but these are, these are all uniquely different. <laughs> I was saying how great it is that you're here shopping with your wife. She's a lucky woman. But you said you make a mini vacation out of this every year. We do. We travel from Windsor, Canada, and we come across every year to uh, do our Christmas shopping. And uh, we like to use it as a mini vacation. And uh, we stay at the Royal Park every year when we come. And we have nice dinners while we're here. And we love it here. We find the, the community very clean, mm -hmm. uh, friendly, and safe. So we, we uh, make it a yearly trip. OK, so he's proof positive that the village of Rochester is a destination. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Okay, and now another great hot. store, Hot Mama? Hot Mama, let's go in. <laughs> okay, after you. Well, Hot Mama, I already love the name. I, it makes me want to think maternity, but it's not. It, it's for... It is a lifestyle store for mm -hmm. moms. And basically what they do here is Stuff. help make your time shopping somewhat enjoyable if you mm -hmm. have little kids. <laughs> they have toys, animal crackers, and oh, PS3s. Gosh. Oh my goodness, they thought of everything. And there's a seat for your husband to sit in. 
<laughs> One of the key things that they do here is they really help moms feel sexy. And they will work with you on whatever body style you have or whatever body type you have, mm -hmm. and they'll help you figure out what's going to work best for you. It's almost like having a personal shopper in a way. You can The girls that work at Hot Mama uh -huh. have, our, they call them stylists. Fold it over your shoulders. Okay. So it's a cute look. Kind of and you can also just put it up. Oh, when it gets snowy. Look at that. Okay, I just have to say she was right because you, you are shorter, but it looks fabulous. Right. This is what a stylist does. This is like people pay for this. <laughs> you can come in here and just get it as part of the service. It's, and you look adorable. Thank you. I love it. I feel adorable. I like it. <laughs> Hot Mama is known for their denim, and they pride themselves in being, being able to fit moms in the right kind of denim jean. Shalina, I want to thank you so much. I've had a great time. It's dangerous for me to do come here. <laughs> I understand completely. However, and you're very welcome. Saying that, I am going to go do a little more window shopping. Good luck. <laughs>if you just come out here for window shopping, being in this open air mall at this time of year gives you a totally different experience. Not to mention all of these lights make it feel quite magical. So I feel like I'm in New York City doing window shopping. I mean look how beautiful Pottery Barn displayed their window. They've got the beautiful candlelight on the coffee table. This is another great festive window display, Banana Republic. They've got beautiful holiday sweaters on here for both men and women. Oh, and Francesca's collection. I love this store. It's eclectic and unique. We've got all kinds of fabulous items in there. We'll talk about Christmas. Check out this window. This is the English Gardens Christmas shop. These trees are beautiful. You can go in here and get tons of great ideas. The village of Rochester Hills is more than just a fabulous place to come shopping. It's a holiday destination. The holidays in the D go hand in hand with the holidays at the Fox Theater. Now this Detroit beauty landmark gets all decked out for the holidays and has been a part of family traditions for decades with shows over the years like the Radio City Christmas Spectacular featuring the world famous Rockettes, Irving Berlin's White Christmas and the Moscow Ballet's Great Russian Nutcracker. So let's hear some fond memories and new memories in the making of holidays at the Fox from families in the D. Hello folks and welcome to the Fox Theater, the Jeb of Detroit. Hi, I'm Doug from Toledo, Ohio. And I'm Sandy, and I live with this guy, my husband, and we're in Toledo. I was stunned from the moment we parked the car till now. It's been nothing but high excitement. Excellent service. Can you imagine? We're going to see the Russian Ballet. I mean, I can't believe it. I'm thrilled. We're all here at the Fox from Warren, from Sterling Heights, and from Fenton Township. This is our third year here for the suite, 
and we be, and this is becoming a really a family tradition. We come all the time to see all the great holiday shows. I love it. You can't just have a holiday without coming down to the box. It's just amazing. This gorgeous tree makes quite a statement when you come in the lobby. It's up here on the promenade level, and it is just breathtaking. Well, I love all the big bulbs and the decorations and the color scheme they went with. So festive and Christmassy. Hi, I'm Kelly from Grand Lake. Hi, I'm Michelle from Rochester. We brought a Christmas gift for our mom um, this year. She's never been to the Fox Theater and she's always wanted to see the Nutcracker. When we got in the car, she didn't know where we were going and so she was very excited and then when she found out, her eyes filled with tears and it's been a memorable Christmas. We'll never forget it. Never. When I came here and I stood in the atrium, I had such a fond memory of Fox Theater. My son and daughters, they come every Christmas and I wanted to do something good for them. So I, we came here and they enjoy being here because the venue is so great and of course the Moscow Ballet, we enjoyed looking at the show. They've got two nutcrackers here, very appropriate for one of the shows they've got going on this holiday season. And of course, I just love seeing everybody dressed up in their Sunday best. The little girls have on the prettiest dresses. The little boys all look so handsome with their suit and ties on. And of course, everybody else is all decked out for the holidays as well. Hi, I'm Phil from New Zealand, and this is Emma from New Zealand. It's beautiful, yeah, yeah. She, as soon as she got in there, she's just looking at the ceiling, it hasn't stopped, so it's been great. It's leaving a great impression of Detroit on us, so, and Emma as well. <laughs> We're trying to make it a tradition to come every year so that one of our children get used to coming and experiencing this beautiful uh, theater. The school, Everest Academy, makes a trip here and we love it. Um, and it's creating memories not only for the girls, but for the mothers and their daughters. And that's what, that's what brought us back this year. And if you miss one of the Fox's Christmas shows, you can still come here while it's still decorated for the holidays and see a variety of other shows, such as Dream Girls. Dream Girls! Hi, I'm Marcus from Latham Village, Michigan. My family and I are here enjoying the Dream Girls play. I'm enjoying the Dream Girls. I've been to a few of them, and I was just commenting earlier that you won't find buildings being built like this anymore. And uh, the whole aesthetics, everything, the details of it is just wonderful. I was the little girl always here for Sesame Street every year, or Elmo Live. Hi, I'm Carla Show from Greater Grace Temple in Detroit, Michigan. We're having a wonderful time. Hi, I'm Celeste Williams, also from Greater Grace. I'm from Iowa originally, but I'm a Detroiter now. Yay! My most fun holiday experience here was uh, several years back, I saw Frankie Beverly and Mays. The Whispers had a wonderful time. We were down front. It was just the best. Oh, the Fox is fabulous. It's gorgeous. The architecture is just, it's royal, it's classy, and I just love to be here. If you have not yet seen a holiday show at the Fox Theater, well, then there's no better time than the present to start a great new family tradition. We love the Nutcracker. We love the Nutcracker. Very graceful, elegant, Very wonderful. Great. Merry Christmas from the Fox Theater. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. Enjoy the holiday classic A Christmas Carol at Meadowbrook and eight decades of holiday decor at the Chrysler Museum. The Wayne County Light Fest lights up Hines Drive and downtown Rochester shines with their big bright light show. Greenfield Village gets decked out for holiday nights and the award-winning Jersey Boys returns to the Fisher. See how the Grinch stole Christmas live on stage. Then start a holiday tradition with Home for the Holidays. The Charles H. Wright Museum celebrates Kwanzaa and the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters amaze at the palace. Find out who plays at this year's Little Caesars Pizza Bowl. Then head to the Joe for the WWE Raw Holiday Tour. Funny man Jeff Dunham brings his comedy to the Joe. Then the Trans-Siberian Orchestra performs holiday rock operas. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. Wow. So 
you think you've been to a bookstore? Well, let me tell you, you haven't been to a bookstore yet until you've been to John K. King Books in Detroit. It's that landmark powder blue building at West Lafayette in the Lodge, and this place is just packed to the gills with used, rare books, books you can't find any place else, and we're going to explore it today. They've got a whole aisle here devoted to books just on Michigan. They've got Great Lakes history, maritime history. They've even got a section on Michigan cities and communities. So if you find you're still craving more Metro Detroit information after watching our show, you can come here, pull out a book on Osei Gross Point. And John K. King Books always makes the best of lists. I mean, they run the best of Our Detroit, Metro Times, Real Detroit, the Detroit Free Press. And after all, they are the biggest reseller of used books in the country. We have over 900 categories, close to a million books. And they're spread out on four floors. Plus, we have an art annex that carries about 20,000 art books. And we have a rare book room and a rare bindings area. So we take care of the whole scope of book collecting. We started in 1965, but we were in another building downtown for 12 years. Okay. Then we moved over here. Mm -hmm. This is the old Advanced Glove Company. And it has a big mural of a glove on the corner of the building. So it's a landmark building in the city of Detroit. But now you're two buildings, actually, correct? Yes. We took over the oldest elevator building behind us. Mm -hmm. One building is open to the public. Yes. One building is open to the public, and the other one's by appointment only. By appointment only. And that's where we're standing at, in correct. the appointment only. Correct. This is our, our rare book room where we're so at. When somebody comes in, where do they start? We direct them to our directory. Mm -hmm. We question them, try and see what they are looking for, and then we set them off on their uh, journey. A lot of books we have are not really available on the internet. Okay. So books can be found here that are uh, a lot easier to find than if you're looking on the internet. Plus you can see the condition of the book before you buy it on the internet. You don't see any of that. So this is by appointment only, the rare use the rare books. This is for serious book collectors. Yes. And so what are some of the things that somebody might come in here searching for? Well, people come in here and they look for various things. We have mm -hmm. a signed Lincoln document here, for example. That's an original oh. signed document by Abraham Lincoln wow. that we sell. Uh, it is for sale. Oh, for whom the bell tolls. We have an inscribed and signed for whom the bell tolls that's signed by Ernest Hemingway. Wow. And this, this caught my eye over here, too. This yes, is this is a original Edith Head costume sketch for Elkie Summer. Wow, gorgeous. Oz books, first editions. Oh, wow. Look at that. This room over here is just absolutely gorgeous. Yes. This is our, our leather bindings area where we have a large selection of hand bound books uh -huh. and they include subjects such as literature, medical, mm -hmm. uh, history. We also have a large art annex that carries over 20,000 out of print art books. Now and is that appointment too? Is it? That's uh, by appointment but it's a lot easier to get into. So this is all just all art books? Correct. This is our large art annex. Wow. It's one of the largest annexes in the country that just carries strictly out of print books. Out of print books. Everything's categorized in various disciplines okay. and it goes on and on. Okay, well I also see some pieces of art, not just books down here. Is that, that's all for sale too? Correct. We have all kinds of masks that we recently got in from an estate. We have paintings, original oil paintings, mm -hmm. prints. Uh, maps. <laughs> okay, Winky wants to go over next door to the real bookstore now. <laughs> so this is the main building. You walk in, you come in here and you say, oh wow, where do I start? <laughs> well, this is where everybody comes in. This uh -huh. is their introduction to our store. And here's Craig, one of our regular customers. Oh. Hi, Craig. So you're a regular shopper here. Yep. So what's the appeal of the bookstore to you? Volume. Volume? There are a lot of books. We have four floors, and 
we can direct people to the sections if they need to be directed, or we mm -hmm. have salespeople that can help people. Now, do you have somebody on every floor? Correct. We have a floor manager on every floor, mm -hmm. and they are able to help confused and bewildered customers. <laughs> with, a lot of people get overwhelmed when they come in here because mm -hmm. of the gigantic, enormous collection of yeah. books we have here. Yeah. Well, it looks like you're, you're, you're really busy. Yeah. You're really busy, yeah. Each floor yes. has 6,000 square feet. Full of books. F crammed full of books, but they're in order, in subject order, and most of the time alphabetical. Oh, okay. Over here we have a large collection of World War II books, and we have early printings, things that were printed in the 17th and 18th centuries down here too. When you go to old bookstores, sometimes you walk in and everything's just scattered mm -hmm. as if they were shot out of a shotgun. Mm -hmm. And here everything is neat and, and, and ordered. So up on the third floor? Yes, we're on the third floor. Out of breath, but we're here. <laughs> Half the floor here is devoted to fiction. Oh, okay. So we have approximately 30,000 uh, fiction titles. As a bookstore established as a used and rare bookstore, continue to hold these until the right person comes because you just want to be prepared. We have a lot of people that come in special from around the country yeah. and from foreign countries that come and stop here special. Wow. Okay, so we are on the fourth floor. I like the um, interior design. You can look back and see things from the 80s and Back what was in fashion? 50s, <laughs> Back to the 50s. Things that are becoming fashionable again. <laughs> you do appraisals as well, correct? Yes, as a service to the community, we provide free verbal appraisals. Wow, that's a great service. <laughs> and we've been doing it for dozens of years. The Ernest Hackle book is not a first edition. It's probably a five, ten dollar book. Okay. Sonnets from the Portuguese in leather, which makes it a lot nicer. It's probably a $20 book because it's in leather. If it was the same thing in cloth, it'd be a 5 to $10 book. So yet another little room. I like all these little nooks and crannies. You just don't know what you're going to find here. Yeah, first floor is <laughs> full of nooks and crannies. <laughs> well, John, I want to thank you so much thank for taking you. me around, showing me off. And I think I'm going to go explore on my own and see what I can find. Good. I'm glad you came. <laughs> Good. Well, I just love the feeling of this old building. It's so romantic, old world feeling, yet it's here in the present day. And this building was actually built around the turn of the century. And as was mentioned, it used to be a glove factory, so that's why it has that warehouse feeling. But it's cozy. This entire area, this, this other room coming up is devoted to art. So besides the art annex and the other building, this area is devoted to art books from around the world. You can find pretty much anything you're looking for. They've got all the world famous artists covered here. Just look at this, it's just mind boggling. Here we go, travel. Well, you know I'm a big travel buff, like to go all over Metro Detroit. But I also have another interest, Southern Italy. And here's a man, now I'm looking for, hmm, I wonder what Southern Italy was like back turn of the century. Came to the right place. It's right down this aisle here. These are our travel books. Okay. And Italy is in this section here. Uh, a good choice would be the Baedeckers, the famous series of travel books. Uh, this one looks to be probably turn of the century. 1893. Very good. And the neat part about these is they have lots of maps inside. Lots of maps from, wow. Oh, look at And here's Napoli. Naples. And old Napoli. Wow. We have the sense of organization. That's really my job, is to make sure that things stay organized so that when people come in, we can actually find what we have. Mm -hmm. We want them to have kind of the old world experience of right. going to a bookstore and browsing around, but we don't want them to be so overwhelmed because we're so large right. that they can't find what they hope to exactly. find here. Well, Deborah, I have been looking for this particular book for my father for some time, and you had it here. Oh, great. I'm glad you found what you're looking for yeah. in the store today. Let's see. Wow. It's only 318. 318? 318. What a bargain. You can't beat that.
Well, I found the occult section where they've got books on dreams, ESP, ghosts. And speaking of ghosts, at one point they claimed that the fourth floor of this building was haunted. Lights going on and off, all kinds of crazy things. But fortunately, we don't have to worry about that anymore. You can come here. Rest assured, it's ghost free. But as they mentioned, there's over 900 categories. So if you want to read about ghosts, you can do that. And since I found my nice little cubby hole, I think I'm going to pull this out and see if they really do exist. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you'd like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.